Hello, I welcome you all to today's lesson. We continue from where we ended. This is a question that I gave you in the quiz that we had yesterday. So I just want us to revise through it, even as I give you another question that is different. So as you can see, this is a past paper from uh, a certain year. So, so far, what we've covered, we are able to answer an exam question under linear programming. So, which means where we are now, we've reserved five marks for ourselves. So, five marks is waiting for you in an exam. As long as you are able to answer this. So, the question that I gave you yesterday, all the quizzes that will be coming, when there is a quiz, you won't have like enough time to answer you need to be very sharp because i'm testing your mind i'm also training you on how to be very fast in answering questions because one thing that a lot of people complain when writing mathematics is this one time so i'm training you to be very fast that's why any work that is submitted uh, after the time that I've given, I don't consider it because if I mark you, you also maintain the same mistake. You also submit tomorrow expecting me to mark you. So that's why I'm training you to be a good student working with the time. So answering this question carries five marks. So how can you now write the three inequalities which are here? So I told you that you name them as you wish. You say this is one, inquiry one. This is inquiry two. This one that is like this. And this is inquiry three. You just name it like this. You name these three in inequalities which are here. So you know that this line which is here. I told you that whenever you are having an horizontal line or a vertical line, that means that the inequality is only cutting one axis, either the x-axis or the y-axis. So this is an horizontal line, meaning it is cutting the y-axis. At y is equal to what? The value here is y. So y is equal to what? 6 at that point. Even if you check through this line, even here y is 6. So meaning that the inequality of this line is y is equal to 6. So this is the boundary line. y is equal to what? y is equal to 6. After you do this, you check. This is a solid line. So you are supposed to use this inequality or this other inequality. So which part have they shaded? They have shaded the upper part. So you, you are supposed to get the opposite, which is the down part. So you get the down part, which is less. So it's y less than or equal to 6. This is your answer. So even if you start with this one, as long as you are able to provide all the three inequalities, it is fine. So this is what you need to do. So in certain cases, you won't be given a coordinate here like this. They will say the point here. They will name it as A, then give you a coordinate somewhere like this A, then they will say that is 8, 6. So a coordinate is given somewhere, but here they will just say A. But you can get the coordinate and put it here for easy reference so that you'll be answering questions correctly and very well. This is what you need to do. So that was the first inquiry. That is how you needed to answer it. We move to the next inequality. According to me, this is how I've named this. So maybe this one, you, it was the last one. So that's how you needed to answer it. All in all, by the end of the day, we need to arrive at the three inequalities. And the three inequalities should be the same. So you check this line. Have you seen the way this line is? This is the line which is given. So is this horizontal? No. Is this vertical? No. It is making a what? A slope. So whenever a line is making a slope, you need to find the gradient. You get two coordinates that are within the same line. So the two coordinates that are within this line, 
what are the two coordinates? 8,6 and 2,0. So we are having what and what? 8,6. So 8,6, you are having 8,6 and what? And 2,0. 2,0 like this. These are the two coordinates that are within this. After you do this, then you find the what? You find the gradient. So you say gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is equal to. So you know that finding the gradient, you say this is x1, y1. This is x2, this is y2. So what is your y2? y2 6 minus y1, that is a 0. You say over. What is x2? x2 is 8 minus what is your x1? Your x1 is a 2, like this. So you get this, where you say gradient is now equal to what is 6 minus 0? 6 over. What is 8 minus 2? That's 6. 6 divided by 6, that is a 1. And I forgot to tell you that uh, this is paper 1. In other words, you are not supposed to use a calculator. So if you were using a calculator, avoid using a calculator on this. Make sure you avoid using a calculator. So this is the one we've answered this. So if, when you, even if you answered this, I want you to watch the video. I'm, I'm, even as I'm answering this, I'm explaining other things that I was not teaching in the previous lessons that we had. So you are gaining more information from what you know. So don't say me, I answered this, I got everything. That is good, you got everything. But even as I'm teaching, I'm also giving new information. So even if I was to teach this tomorrow, the same way I'm teaching, that's not the way I'll be teaching or explaining. So you keep growing in knowledge each and every day. So after you do this, you write the general equation of all straight line, which is y minus y1 is equal to this this is the this is the formula then you just substitute y minus y1 it is a zero which is equal to gradient one open bracket x minus what is your x1 x1 you check there that is a two you do this y minus zero that is y is equal to one times x that is x one times negative two that is negative two so this is the boundary which we found. This is our boundary. So this is our boundary. We check the line. Which line are we given? This is the line. It is a what? It is a dotted line. Since it is a dotted line, you are supposed to use this one or this one. So you know that which part have they shaded? This is the down part. Have you seen they have shaded down? Is this was to continue to reach down here? This is the upper part. This is the upper part. So they've shaded the down part. We get the what? The upper part. The opposite. Of, so they've shaded the down. We get the opposite. So this is greater. So the inquiry there is y greater than x minus 2. This is your answer. So this is how you needed to answer this. And these are the procedures that you need to do. So make sure you did this. Make sure that uh, you answered this. This is how I needed you to answer this. Just like this, you are done. So these are exam questions. And I'll give you another exam question. It's good that a lot of people are doing better. So even in today's lesson, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to answer the work that I'm going to give you. I want you to practice through. So if we are understanding this the way we are getting it this is it is encouraging you are really encouraging me and uh, i'm hoping for the best the same way you are committed the same way you are doing the work that's the same way we should even continue with uh, when we start other topic topics so the same commitment you have continue with the same commitment i move to this one so we are going to answer this together you get you get these two coordinates. The coordinate that is here and the coordinate that is there. So you get the two coordinates. 
So what are the coordinates? You get the two coordinates. We've got that one which is here. This is 0, 0,6. It is given. This is 0, 0,6. So that is 0, 0,6. And uh, this other coordinate which is here, which is 2, 0 like this. This is what we have. So you say x1, y1, x2, y2. So what is our gradient? The gradient, I won't write the formula. I solved this at first, so no need of writing the formula for the second time. But you, you are supposed to show it to attract max in an exam. So you know, you say y2, y2 is 0 minus y1, that is a 6, over. What is your x2? x2 is 2 minus x1, that is a 0. So this is equal to some people, this is where they were making mistakes. What is 0 minus 6? I don't know why we were making such mistakes. 0 minus 6, some people will say this is 6. No, this is negative. So you say negative. Over. Over what? Over 2. So don't forget, 0 minus anything, the, num the number should be a negative. So 0 minus 6, the answer is negative 6. Here, what is your answer? What is 2 into 6? So negative maintain. 2 into 6, it is 3. So this is your answer. It is what? It is a 3. This 3 is your gradient. So in an exam, when you just reach here, when you didn't finish, the marker will give you some marks. They will say this person has to put in effort. That's why I always encourage my students that even if you encounter a new question, Answer the question based on the information that you've gathered. So like in this case, you continue general equation for straight and y minus y1 is equal to gradient. Then you say x minus x1. This is the formula that you are going to use. So you say y minus what is your y1? You check y1, it is a 6, which is equal to what is your gradient? Negative 3. You do this. This is x minus, what is your x1? Check, x1 is 0 there. 0. You do this. Then you work out this part. You work out this part. So you say this is y minus 6 is equal to negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 0, yeah, 0. So, 0 multiplied by anything is just 0. So, plus 0. This one who comes this side. So, you know that what you are going to have will be a y is equal to negative 3x. 0 plus 6. So, this is negative and it comes this side positive 6. So, even if when you say plus 0, a 6 will still maintain. So, 0 doesn't change anything. When you reach here, this is the boundary line. You go back to the inequality. This is the inequality given. So this inequality given, have you seen the way the, this inequality is? So the way it is like this, you check which part of the shade did the down part. So you, you get the upper part, which is greater than. So it is a solid, you get this one, greater than or equal to. You get the opposite, the upper part. This is down. When we come here, we even reach down here. But going this is going on top, up. So you get the upper part, which is not shaded. You always get the opposite. So what you are going to do is this. You say y greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 6. This is your answer. Have you seen me? I'm even explaining. I've answered this in less than 10 minutes. I'm even explaining. So you too supposed to wake out this and be fast. So I'm training your mind. I'm teaching you this so that you be very fast in answering questions. So I'm teaching you to be very fast in answering questions. So I'm going to give you a question in, with this. You answer it in 15 minutes, exactly 15 minutes. Any work submitted after 15 minutes, I won't 
consider it. So I'm teaching you to be very fast. So if you are a slow learner, you adapt. By the end of the day, you discover that you become a fast learner. 15 minutes, that's the time. You can do something. You can work out something. So if you, under 15 minutes, you can submit what you've answered. Then after some time, you try to uh, work out this. You try to answer at your own time after you've submitted in 15 minutes. Then I'll still mark you. But what I want is to see what you are going to write in 15 minutes. This is what I want to see. So I'm training people that are going to be very fast. People that won't complain in an exam. Majority, 90% of the people that get to write mathematics complain about time. So I don't want you to complain about this. That's the reason why I'm teaching you this. I'm training you on how to be very fast on this. So you answer in 15 minutes. You submit what you're going to answer. Be honest. If you've answered one question, submit the same one question. Then after I've marked you, that's when you can now submit the whole question. You tell me that this is what I've answered in uh, uh, in after 15 minutes. Then I'll see, then I'll be able to tell that these individuals, they need to put up their tokens on uh, this. So you need to make sure that uh, you work with time. Make sure that uh, you work and move with time. Time is very important. So this is where we are going to end from. Like I always tell you, don't share my videos with any person that is not under my teachings. Don't make a mistake of sharing any video to a person that is not under my teachings. This is what you need to know and understand. Thank you so much. So the work, I'll upload it at 2030. So 2030, I'm going to upload the work. So revise through this. 2030 exactly, I upload the work. Then before... 2045 you need to submit i mark you but if you want to manage you can still submit after 2045 you can still submit i just want to see the problems that we have those people that are working with them and those that are not working with them so this is just a test it's not that always i'll be doing this i'm just testing you on this i just want you to be very fast so i'm just testing you to be very fast on this and always work with time. So I'm going to give you a work that you are going to do. So I'll give you a work that you will do. So when I give you that work, you answer in 15 minutes. You capture, submit to me. I'm only interested in answers. So if you know that you've got read time, just get the answers. Then later on, that's when you can copy down the question. So this is where we are going to end from. Thank you so much for attending this lesson thank you waiting for your answers after i upload the week thank you